Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss exercise one of B of the chapter functions from Intermediate First Year Telugu Academy Mathematics One A. In the previous videos, I discussed introduction of functions, examples, solved problems, as well as exercise one of A. If you didn't watch those videos, the link is in the description. Please go through those videos. Okay. Now the first question is. f of x is equals to e power x. f of x is equals to e power x. And g of x is equals to log x base e. Then he is asking to show that f of g is equals to g of f. And then to find the inverses. F inverse as well as G inverse. Okay, let us solve one by one. He is asking to show that f of G is equals to G of f. So first, I am going to take the LHS that is f of G. F of G that also can be written as f of G. Alphabet x is there. I mean variable x. So that's why I am writing it as f of G of x. That also simplified as f of G of x. Whatever it be, the way you write, all the ways are correct only. So now let us find out f of g of x value. F of g of x, g of x is given as log x base e. So let us substitute that here. Log x base e. Now f of log x base e value we want. f of x value is given as e power x then we want the value of f of log x base e so it means wherever we have x in the place of x we need to substitute this total so e power here x is there so in the place of x log x base e this is the formula e power log x base e is nothing but x so lhs i got the value as x now i will sub uh, check the rhs in the rhs he is asking to find a g of f that also can be written as g of f of x the same also can be simplified as g of f of x g of f of x value is given as e power x now in the question g of x is given as log x base e we want the value of g of e power x so it means wherever we have x in the place of x we need to substitute e power x log here we have x in the place of x substituting e power x e power x with the base e in the logarithms if a power is there for the main number that power will come to the front as it is so then it will become x times log e base e that will become x into the value of log e base e is 1 so we remains with x now let us check the values of lhs as well as rhs here the lhs value is x rhs value also x so that we can conclude lhs is equals to rhs that is nothing but f of g is equals to g of f hence proved then they are asking to find the inverses of those functions also f of x is given as e power x first thing we need to do is f of x replace with y y is equals to e power x now y equals to e power x is there so we need to convert this exponential to logarithmic form so it's very simple log y base e is equals to x we are converting the exponential form to logarithmic form just to get the x value now x value we got as log y base e now replace the alphabets log x base e 
is equals to y this y is nothing but f inverse of x so f inverse of x is equals to log x base e log with base e is called as ln ln x next let us find the inverse of the function g also g of x is given as log x base e let us find the inverse for this g of x first replace with y so y is equals to log x base e now it is in logarithmic form to get the value of x convert this to exponential form e power y is equals to x now replacing the alphabets e power x is equals to y y is nothing but f inverse of x so f inverse sorry sorry here g right so g inverse of x so g inverse of x value is e power x next let us move to the second question f of y equals to y divided by under root 1 minus y square and g of y equals to y divided by under root 1 plus y square then he is asking to show that f of g of y f of g of y is equals to y so let us check now f of g of y that is nothing but y divided by under root 1 plus y square now f of x value is given as i'm sorry f of y right f of y value is given as y divided by under root 1 minus y square now we want the value of f of this one y by under root 1 plus y square y by under root 1 plus y square so how to get this value now in this wherever we have y in that place of y we need to substitute this total so in the numerator we have y so y is nothing but y divided by under root 1 plus y square whole divided by in the denominator under root 1 minus y square is there under root 1 minus y square y is nothing but y by under root 1 plus y square y by under root 1 plus y square whole square now write the numerator as it is that is y by under root 1 plus y square whole divided by 1 minus this square is for numerator as well as denominator so it will become y square by if you apply the square for denominator square root and square will get cancelled so we remains with 1 plus y square under root as usual now numerator as it is y by under root 1 plus y square y by under root 1 plus y square whole divided by here 1 plus y square into 1 1 plus y square minus y square divided by 1 plus y square for the denominator total under root writing the numerator as it is y by under root 1 plus y square whole divided by here y square y square will get cancelled so we remains with under root 1 by 1 plus y square <coughs> sorry writing the numerator as it is y by under root 1 plus y square divided by in the denominator we have complete under root so i am separating it root 1 by root 1 plus y square root 1 plus y square root 1 plus y square both will get cancelled so we remains with y by root 1 
रूट वन इज नथिंग बट वन सो दैट इज नथिंग बट वाई हेन्स प्रूड Now let us move to the bit number थ्री इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एफ ऑफ एक्स इज गिवेन एज टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री g of x is equals to 3x minus 2. In this again, four sub questions are there. So the first question is f of g of x. <clears throat> so let us find the value of f of g of x. f of g of x is nothing but 3x minus 2. So now this 3x minus 2 we need to substitute in the place of x in the function f. Here function f is two x square plus three, so two into x square is there. So in the place of x, we need to substitute three x minus two, whole square plus three. Two into three x minus two whole square. It is in the form of a minus b whole square. So if we expand a minus b whole square, we will get it as a square plus b square minus two into a into b twelve x plus three as usual. So if we expand now, two into nine x square, eighteen x square, plus two four is eight, minus two twelve is twenty four x plus three. If we do simplification, eighteen x square minus twenty four x plus eight plus three eleven. So the value of f of g of x is nothing but eighteen x square minus twenty four x plus eleven. Next, second question in this. To find the value of g of f of x, so g of f of x is given as two x square plus three. Now this two x square plus three we need to substitute in the place of x in the function g. G of uh, function g is given as three x minus two. So in the place of x we need to substitute this completely. So we get three into Here x is nothing but two x square plus three. Two <clears throat> x square plus three minus two as it is. So three into two x square we will get six x square plus three into three nine minus two. Six x square plus nine minus two plus seven. So the value of g of f of x is nothing but six x square plus seven. Then third question is. Find the value of f of f of zero. So for that we need f of x function. That's why I'm writing this beside. F of x function is given as two x square plus three. F of first we want f of zero. So f of zero is nothing but in the f of x function wherever we have x we need to substitute zero. So two times zero square plus three. We get f of Two into zero square is zero plus three. F of two zeros are zero plus three. That is nothing but f of three. Now we need to find the f of three value. So f of three is nothing but in this f of x function, wherever we have x, we need to substitute three. So we have two x square plus three. Two into in the place of x square, three square plus three. Two into three square is nine plus three. That is equals to two into nine eighteen plus three twenty one. So the value of f of f of zero is nothing but twenty one. Next, last question in this bit. Question number four. G of f of f of three. So total three times we need to do this one now.
जी ऑफ यफ ऑफ फर्स्ट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ यफ ऑफ थ्री फंक्शन यफ इज गिवेन एज टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट थ्री नाउ हियर वी हैव एक्स इन द प्लेस ऑफ दैट एक्स वी नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट थ्री सो इट विल बिकम थ्री स्क्वेर टू इन टू थ्री स्क्वेर नाउ जी ऑफ एफ ऑफ टू इंटू थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाइन प्लस थ्री सो वी गेट जी ऑफ एफ ऑफ टू नाइन जै एटीन प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी वन सो जी ऑफ एफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन नाउ अगेन जी ऑफ वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन फंक्शन एफ इज गिवेन एज टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री Here in the place of x, we need to substitute twenty <coughs> one. So twenty one whole square. So we get g of two into twenty one square four hundred and forty one plus three. G of two into four hundred and forty one eight hundred and eighty two plus three. So we get g of eight hundred and eighty two plus three eight hundred and eighty five. We need to find the value of g of eight hundred and eighty five. Whereas g of x is given as 3x minus 2, so 3x minus 2 is there. Then in the place of x, we need to substitute 885. So we will get 3 into 885 minus 2. What is the value of 3 into 885? 3 is 15. 5 one carry. 3 is 24. 5 25 two carry. 3 is 24. 26. 2 six double five minus two. 2 six double five minus two is nothing but 2 six five three. So the value of g of f of f of three is nothing but 2,653. Three. <coughs> Sorry, 53. Three. Next, let us move to the bit number four. Function f of x is given as 3x minus one. f of x is a function which is defined as 3x minus 1 and g of x is given as x square plus 1 f of x is given as 3x minus 1 and g of x is given as x square plus 1 again in this fourth question also three sub questions are there let us have a look at the first one in this what is the value of f of f of x square plus 1 <coughs> f of f of x square will plus one. So first of all, f of what is the value of f of x square plus one? Here, if we take the function f, wherever we have x in the place of x, we need to substitute x square plus one. So three into in the place of x, x square plus one minus one as it is. So now, if we simplify this, f of Three into x square, three x square plus three one zero three minus one. So we get f of three x square plus three minus one two. Now what is the value of f of three x square plus two? This total three x square plus two we need to substitute in the place of x in the given function f. That is three x minus one. Three into in the place of x three x square plus two minus one as usual. If we simplify three into three x square, that is nine x square plus three two is a six minus one. So if we simplify it, nine x square plus six minus one, it is plus five. So the value of f of f of x square plus one is nothing but nine x square plus five. <coughs> Next in this second bit, second bit is given as f of g of two. So the value of f of g of two, f of g of two we want. G of x function is given as x square plus one. So now here in the place of x we want g of two value. So substitute two, two square plus one. F of two square is four, four plus one is five. Now we want f of five value. f of x is given as 3x minus 1 in the place of x simply substituting 5 so 3 into 5 minus 1 3 5 is a 15 15 minus 1 15 minus 1 is nothing but 
14. So the value of f of g of 2 is nothing but 14. Next, third question in this. <coughs> g of f of 2a minus 3. So first, g of, what is the value of f of 2a minus 3? Here, in the question clearly, f of x is given as 3x minus 1. Now, we want the value of f of 2a minus 3. So, in the wherever we have x in the place of x, we need to substitute 2a minus 3. So, 3 into 2a minus 3 minus 1 as it is. <coughs> now, it will become g of. 3 into 2a, 6a minus 3, 3 is a 9 minus 1. g of 6a minus 9 minus 1 minus 10. g of 6a minus 10. In the question, g of x value is given as x square plus 1. g of x is equals to x square plus 1. Now, we want g of 6a minus 10. So, in the place of x, we need to substitute 6a minus 10. Then it will become... 6a minus 10 whole square plus 1. If we simplify this 6a minus 10 whole square, it is in the form of a plus b whole square. Then it will become 36a square plus 100 minus 120a plus 1. We remains with 36a square minus 120a plus 100 plus 1, 1 not 1. This is the answer of the g of f of 2a minus 3. <clears throat> by this all the four bits are completed now let us move to the bit number five f of x is given as one by x and g of x is given as root x then he is asking to find the value of g of f of x g of f of x g of f of x is nothing but 1 by x now this 1 by x i need to substitute in the g function wherever i have x so here root x is there <coughs> so root x is nothing but 1 by x so root 1 by x if we simplify we will get it as root 1 by root x root 1 is nothing but 1 divided by root x so the answer of g of f of x is 1 by root x next let us move to bit number 6 question number 6 is f of x is given as 2 x minus 1 and g of x is given as x plus 1 divided by 2 then he is asking to find the value of g of f of x. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> After so many days again teaching, right? So that's why throat is not supporting actually. So now we need to find out the value of g of f of x. So g of f of x is nothing but 2x minus 1. So now in the g function, wherever we have x in the place of x, we need to substitute completely this 2x minus 1. Okay, we have x plus 1 in the numerator. So in the place of x, 2x minus 1 plus 1 as it is divided by 2, which gives us minus 1 plus 1 cancel. So we remains with 2x divided by 2, 2, 2, both will get cancelled. Then the final answer is x. <clears throat> next let us move to bit number 7 f of x is 2 f of x is 2 2 means constant function then g of x is equals to x square and h of x is equals to 2x then he is asking to find the value of f of g of h of x. Okay, let us check it out. f of g of. What is the value of h of x? It is nothing but 2x. Now we want f of. What is the value of g of 2x? 
so in the function g wherever we have x in the place of x we need to substitute 2x so it will become 2x whole square then it will become f of 2x whole square it is nothing but 4x square then what is the value of f of 4x square f of x is given as 2 so it is a constant function then f of whatever it may be the number it is a constant function so always the answer is 2 only in the constant function whatever the values you substitute because in that variables only not there so always that constant number only will be there again next let us move to the bit number 8 in the bit number 8 they asked us to find out the inverses very easy one in that first question the function is defined as f of x is equals to a x plus b we need to find out the inverse of this function so first simply f of x replace with y y is equals to a x plus b now we need to get the equation for x so for that take b to the left side y minus b is equals to a x now we want x value so to bring a to the left side y minus b divided by a is equals to x now replacing the x and y values y will become x minus b by a is equals to x will become y now replace this y with f inverse of x so f inverse of x is equals to x minus b divided by a this is the inverse of the given function next in this eighth bit only again sub question 2 f of x is given as phi power x first step as usual f of x replace with y so y is equals to 5 power x now this is exponential form to get the value of x convert this to logarithmic form log y base 5 is equals to x now the next step is replacing the x and y log x base 5 is equals to y replace y with f inverse x so inverse of the given function is log x base 5 again in this eighth question only sub question 3 is there let us check that third one f of x is equals to log x base 2 is given the first step as usual f of x replace with y y is equals to log x base 2 to get the x value it is in logarithmic form convert it to exponential form then we will get 2 power y is equals to x now replace the x and y alphabets 2 power x is equals to y replace y with f inverse x so f inverse of x is equals to 2 power x next bit number nine <clears throat> the function f of x is defined by one plus x plus x square plus and so on then he is asking to find the sorry sorry then he is asking to show that f inverse is x minus one by x first of all this function is not at all in a order first of all because it is like 1 plus x plus x square so much is there first we need to convert it to single term otherwise two terms now if we observe this uh, 1 plus x plus x square clearly once if we go to the 10th class progressions we will get geometric progressions first term is a that is 1 second term that is a2 is x second term divided by first term second term is x divided by first term is y x by 1 is nothing but x now third term a3 is equals to x square 
third term x square divided by second term x x square by x x here second term by first term is x third term by second term is also x common ratio is same so that's why the given function is in gp so sum of the n terms of a gp formula is 1 by 1 minus r <coughs> f of x is equals to 1 by 1 minus r. So, f of x we will replace with y as usual. y is equals to 1 by 1 minus then what is r here? r is nothing but the common ratio which we got here that is x. So, the given function is 1 by 1 minus x. Now, we need to find out the inverse for this. So, first total denominator bring it to the left side. So, we will get y times 1 minus x is equals to 1. Open this y into 1 y minus y into x y x is equals to 1. I want x value. So, that's why I will take minus y x to the right side and plus 1 to the left side y as usual plus 1 will become minus 1 is equals to minus y x plus we will become y x now i want x value so bring y to the left side then x is equals to y minus 1 divided by y this y replace with x i mean exchanging the alphabets y is equals to x minus 1 by x now y replace with f inverse f inverse of x is equals to x minus 1 by x hence proved this is only he is asking to prove in the question obviously we got that answer only so hence proved <coughs> next let us move to the question number 10 function f of x is defined by 2 power x into x minus 1 then he is asking to find the inverse function of this first step as usual f of x replace with y so y is equals to 2 times x into x minus 1 now i want x value anyway so this is in exponential form i'll try to convert to logarithmic form it will become log y base 2 is equals to x into x minus 1. Left side I am writing as it is that is log y base 2 is equals to x into x minus 1. If we expand it we will get x square minus x. Everything I will take to one side. x square as it is minus x as it is plus log y2 we are taking another side then it will become minus log y base 2 which is equals to 0. Now, if we observe this equation clearly, this is quadratic equation. So, by using the formula for finding the roots, I am going to find the x value in this. We have the formula to find the roots that is minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a minus symbol as it is what is b value b is nothing but x coefficient that is minus 1 minus of minus 1 plus or minus under root b square is nothing but minus 1 whole square minus 4 into a value a is nothing but x square coefficient that is 1 into c c is nothing but constant that is minus log y base 2 minus log y base 2 whole divided by 2a 2 into a is nothing but 1. Here minus into minus 1 plus 1 plus or minus under root minus 1 whole square 1 minus into minus plus 4 times log y base 2 whole divided by 2 1s are 2. Now simply replace the y with the x then it will become the inverse. f inverse x is equals to 1 plus or minus and I root 1 plus 4 times log x base 2 whole divided by 2.
this is total first bit in the exercise one of b again we will be having second bit also now let us start the second bit in the second bit the first question is given as if f of x is equals to x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 then find sorry then verify f of f inverse of x f of f inverse of x is equals to x one function f of x is given here f inverse of x is there so first for the given function i will find the inverse replace f of x with y y is equals to x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 total denominator take to the left side then we get y into x plus 1 is equals to x minus 1 open the bracket and expand it y into x y x plus y into 1 y is equals to x minus 1 y x i will take to the right side and minus 1 i will take to the left side so it will become y plus 1 is equals to x minus y x left side i will write as it is y plus 1 is equals to from the right side i will take out x common then we remains with 1 minus x i want x value so bring 1 minus 1 completely to the left side then x is equals to y plus 1 divided by y minus y now replacing the alphabets y is equals to x plus 1 divided by 1 minus x y replace with f inverse x this is the inverse function for that then he is asking to find the value of f of f inverse of x f of f inverse of x f of f inverse of just now only we got x plus 1 by 1 minus x x plus 1 by x minus 1 now we need to find the value of f of x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 actually in the original question function f of x is defined as x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 now wherever we have x in the place of x we need to substitute this total so in the numerator we have x minus 1 x is nothing but x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus 1 as it is whole divided by we have x minus 1 again x is nothing but x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus 1 sorry here plus 1 right oh sorry sorry in the numerator only minus 1 in the denominator plus 1 because here x minus 1 by x plus 1 right okay now let us simplify this <coughs> x plus 1 minus 1 into x minus x minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole divided by x plus 1 plus 1 into x x 1 into minus 1 minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 let us check for any simplification here plus x minus x cancel plus 1 minus 1 cancel x minus 1 x minus 1 cancel now in the numerator completely 1 plus 1 2 divided by in the denominator x plus x 2x Oh, I'm sorry here I did a small mistake actually here 1 minus x is there but uh, by mistakely I substituted x minus 1 that's why we are not getting answer so this uh, x minus 1 I'll sub separate I mean make it correct with 1 minus x I'm sorry for that 1 minus x here so it means this denominator instead of x minus 1 it will become 1 minus x here also same it will become 1 minus x then this total will change now
फर्स्ट एक्स एज इट इज प्लस वन एज इट इज माइनस वन इंटू वन माइनस वन माइनस वन इंटू माइनस एक्स प्लस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस एक्स होल डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स प्लस वन प्लस वन इंटू वन प्लस वन प्लस वन इंटू माइनस एक्स माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस एक्स एज यूजल नाउ फॉर कैंसलेशन प्लस वन माइनस वन कैंसल हियर प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स कैंसल वन माइनस एक्स वन माइनस एक्स ऑल कैंसल नाउ इफ यू अब्जर्व द न्यूमरेटर एक्स प्लस एक्स टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस वन टू सो टू टू विल गेट कैंसल देन वी रिमेन्स विथ एक्स एंड प्रूव नेक्स्ट सेकेंड बेट ही गेव फंक्शन एफ एज वन कामा आलफा ओ सॉरी फर्स्ट इज प्रूविंग एफ एंड जी आर बैजेक्टिव देन मीन वी वॉन्ट सेट्स ऑलसो कंपलसरी सेट ए इज गिवेन एज वन टू थ्री एंड सेट बी इज गिवेन एज alpha beta and gamma then function f is defined as 1 comma alpha 2 comma gamma and 3 comma beta now if we observe this clearly every element of set a has only unique image that is one and only one image so we can conclude that this is 1 1 नेक्स्ट रेंज इज आलफा बीटा गामा दट इज सेम एज द कोडोमैन रेंज कोडोमैन बोथ आर ईक्वल टू इच अदर सो दिस इज ऑन टू फंक्शन ऑल्सो सो देन वी कैन कंक्लूड फंक्शन एफ इज ए बैजेक्टिव फंक्शन नाउ लेट अस टेक द फंक्शन जी function g is represented from b to c so set b we have alpha beta gamma and set c we have pqr now g function is defined as alpha comma q beta comma r gamma comma p if we observe this clearly Every element of set B has one and only one image in the set C, so we can conclude this is one one function. P Q R will become the range. Codomain is also same, so range codomain both are equal to each other. Then this is on to also. This function is one one function as well as on to function, so then we can conclude that this is also bijection. Function F is a bijection as well as function G is also a bijection. now i'll write separately function f and function g function f is 1 comma alpha 2 comma gamma 3 comma beta and function g is alpha comma q beta comma r gamma comma p then he is asking to show that g of f whole inverse g of f whole inverse is equals to f inverse of g inverse g of f whole inverse is equals to f inverse of g inverse so in this function g is given function f is given whereas f inverse and g inverse are not there so first let us find out f inverse g inverse then after we will prove it f Inverse is equals to just for the function f replace it one comma alpha will become alpha comma one two comma gamma will become gamma comma two three comma beta will become beta gamma sorry beta comma three this is f inverse the same way let us find the g inverse also alpha comma q is there so it will become q comma alpha. beta gamma r is there then it will become r comma beta gamma comma p is there so it will become p comma gamma now i have f inverse g inverse also so uh, rhs we have f inverse of g inverse so first i am going to find the rhs only that is f inverse of g inverse f inverse of g inverse 
here alpha alpha is there so if we remove that alpha alpha we remains with q comma 1 q comma 1 here gamma gamma is there so if we remove those gamma gamma we remains with p comma 2 here p is the first one here 2 is the second one the same order we need to write here if we remove beta beta then we remains with r comma 3 this is the value of f inverse of g inverse then he is asking to find g of f whole inverse also now if you observe this g and f g of f i want here alpha alpha both if we remove we will get 1 comma q 1 comma q next here gamma gamma both if we remove we remains with 2 comma p 2 comma p next here beta beta if we remove we will remains with 3 comma r then we got 3 comma r this is the value of g of f then we want the inverse of g of f g of f whole inverse that is equals to here 1 comma q is there then it will become q comma 1 2 comma p will become p comma 2 3 comma r will become r comma 3 now let us compare the values of g of f whole inverse and f inverse of g inverse this is the value of f inverse of g inverse and this is the value of g of f whole inverse let us compare these two now here q comma 1 is there here also q comma 1 is there here p comma 2 is there here also p comma 2 is there here r comma 3 is there here also r comma 3 is there so hence proved g of f whole inverse is equals to f inverse of g inverse next let us move to the question number 3 f of x is given as 3x minus 2 g of x is given as x square plus 1 then he is asking to find the value of first one g of f inverse of 2 g of f inverse of 2 so here first f inverse of 2 is there so for f of x we need to find the inverse first of all f of x is given as 3x minus 2 so f of x make it equals to y so y is equals to 3x minus 2 take minus 2 to the left side y plus 2 is equals to 3x we want x value so take 3 also to the left side then x value is equals to y plus 2 divided by 3 now replacing the alphabets here x will become y and y will become x then replace this y also with f inverse of x so then f inverse x we got that is x plus 2 divided by 3 now we want the value of f inverse of 2 then so f inverse of 2 is equals to here f inverse of x value we got as x plus 2 by 3 so in the place of x substituting 2 2 plus 2 divided by 3 that is nothing but 4 by 3 so f inverse of 2 value we got as 4 by 3 now we want g of 4 by 3 g of 4 by 3 <coughs> g of x value is given as g of x is given as x square plus 1 now i want the value of g of 4 by 3 so wherever i have x i need to substitute 4 by 3 in the place of it so it will become 4 by 3 whole square plus 1 which is equals to 4 by 3 whole square 16 divided by 9 plus 1 which is equals to 16 plus 9 by 9 that is nothing but 16 plus 9 25 divided by 9 in this question only again second question is also there that second question is given as g of f of x minus 1 first of all what is the function f given in the question f of x is defined as 3x minus 2 so now we want f of x minus 1 here wherever i have x in the place of x we i need to substitute x minus 1 so it's very simple g of 3 of in the place of x x minus 1 minus 2 as it is again so we get g of 
थ्री ऑफ एक्स माइनस वन थ्री एक्स माइनस थ्री माइनस टू देन जी ऑफ थ्री एक्स माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस फाइव सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जी ऑफ थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव सो जी ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू इज गिवेन एज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ सो हियर इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी नीड टू सब्स टू थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव सो वी गेट थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव होल स्क्वेयर प्लस वन सो थ्री एक्स माइनस फाइव होल स्क्वेयर इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वेयर सो लेट एस एक्सपैंड इट ए स्क्वेयर दैट इज नाइन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस टू इंटू ए इंटू बी टू थ्री जो सिक्स सिक्स फाइव जो थर्टी थर्टी एक्स प्लस वन इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी गेट नाइन एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस थर्टी एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज द वैल्यू नेक्स्ट लेट अस मूव टू द बिट नंबर फोर Here, bit number four is given as f equals to. I mean, function f is given as one comma a, two comma c, four comma d, three comma b, and g inverse is given as two comma a, four comma b. वन कामा सी एंड थ्री कामा डी फॉर एज एफ इज गिवेन आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड एफ इनवर्स फर्स्ट एफ इनवर्स विल बिकम ए कामा वन सी कामा टू डी कामा फोर बी कामा थ्री देन जी इनवर्स इज गिवेन आई विल फाइंड जी वैल्यू देन टू कामा ए वी कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए कामा टू फोर कामा बी विल बिकम बी कामा फोर वन कामा सी विल बिकम सी कामा वन थ्री कामा डी कैन बी रिटर्न एज डी कामा थ्री ना वाई हैव एफ एफ इनवर्स जी जी इनवर्स ना इन दिस द फर्स्ट ही इज आस्किंग टू शो दैट जी ऑफ एफ होल इनवर्स जी ऑफ एफ होल इनवर्स इज इक्वल्स टू एफ इनवर्स ऑफ जी इनवर्स फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द एल एच एस That is, g of f whole inverse. First, let us find g of f value. <clears throat> g and f, if we observe clearly, here a is there, here a is there. So if we remove that a, it will become one comma two, one comma two, and here. C is there here also. C is there. So if we remove that C, C we will get two comma one. Two comma one. Next here D is there here also. D is there. So if we remove those two, we will get four comma three. Four comma three. Here B is there here also. B is there. If we remove those two, we will remain with three comma four. This is g of f, but we want g of f inverse. So g of f whole inverse will become one comma two will become two comma one. Two comma one will become one comma two. Four comma three will become three comma four. Three comma four will become four comma three. This is the value of g of f whole inverse. Now let us move to R H S. In the RHS is asking to find f inverse of g inverse. Now let us check only f inverse and g inverse functions. Remaining all I'll try to remove so that we don't have any confusion. Now if we check only f inverse and g inverse, f inverse and g inverse. Here a a if we remove we will get two comma one. Two comma one comma here four here four. If we remove, we will. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry.
here b here b if we remove we will remains with 4 comma 3 <coughs> oh sorry here it is 1 comma 2 right next if we remove here c and here c we remains with 1 comma 2 here d here d if we remove we will get 3 comma 4 now let us compare the values of g of f whole inverse and f inverse of g inverse here 2 comma 1 is there here also 2 comma 1 is there here 1 comma 2 is there here also 1 comma 2 is there here 3 comma 4 here 3 comma 4 here 4 comma 3 here 4 comma 3 so hence proved that is g of f whole inverse is equals to f inverse of g inverse okay now let us move to the bit number 5 bit number 5 is given as function is defined by f of x is equals to 2x minus 3 and g of x is defined as x cube plus 5 then is asking to find the value of f of g whole inverse of x f of g whole inverse we need to find first let us find f of g for that we will do inverse now so our first duty is finding the value of f of g of x first f of g of x is given as x cube plus 5 now f of x cube plus 5 is nothing but in the function f wherever we have x in the place of x this total we need to substitute now so it means 2 into in the place of x x cube plus 5 minus 3 as it is 2 into x cube 2 x cube plus 2 5 is a 10 minus 3 so we remains with 2 x cube plus 10 minus 3 plus 7 so the answer is 2 x cube plus 7 now he is asking to find the inverse for this because just we got the value of f of g of x only but in the original we got want f of g of whole inverse we want so for this given function let us find the inverse the function take it as y y is equals to 2x cube plus 7 take 7 to the left side y minus 7 is equals to 2x cube take 2 also to the left side y minus 7 divided by 2 is equals to x cube we want only x value not x cube so apply cube to root cube to root y minus 7 divided by 2 is equals to x now replacing the alphabets cube to root x minus 7 by 2 is equals to y now they replace this y with f inverse of x so the total inverse that is f of g whole inverse f of g whole inverse of x value is cube to root of x minus 7 by 2 okay let us move to the question number 6 function f of x is defined by x square and g of x is defined by 2 power x then he is asking to solve the equation that is f of g of x is equals to g of f of x in this case he is not asking us to show that LHS is equal to RHS then he is asking just to solve the equation 
एफ ऑफ जी ऑफ एक्स इज नथिंग बट टू पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जी ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज नथिंग बट एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ एफ ऑफ टू पावर एक्स इट मीन्स हियर इन द फंक्शन एफ इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी नीड टू सब्सटीट्यूट टू पावर एक्स टू पावर एक्स होल स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल्स टू सेम हियर ऑल्सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जी ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर सो दिस एक्स स्क्वेयर वी नीड टू सब्सटूट इन द टू सॉरी जी हियर टू पावर एक्स इज देर सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी नीड टू सब्सटूट एक्स स्क्वेयर टू पावर एक्स स्क्वेयर लेटस सिंप्लीफाई दल एच एस एंड आर एच एस इफ एनी पॉजिबिलिटी इज देयर टू पावर एक्स होल पावर टू इज नथिंग बट टू पावर टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू पावर एक्स स्क्वेयर बोथ द बेसेस दैट इज टू एंड टू बोथ द बेसेस आर ईक्वल टू ईच अदर देन ऑब्वियसली द पावर्स आर ऑल्सो ईक्वल टू ईच अदर सो वी कैन राइट इट एज टू एक्स इज ईक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वेयर आई विल टेक एवरी थिंग टू द राइट साइड देन वी गेट एक्स स्क्वेयर एज इट इज प्लस टू एक्स विल बिकम माइनस टू एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड आई विल टेक आउट एक्स कॉमन सो वी रिमेन्स विथ एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो मेक इट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एज वेल एज एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो और एक्स माइनस टू इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो माइनस टू इफ यू टेक एन अदर साइड वी रिमेन्स विथ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू प्लस टू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज जीरो और टू Okay, now let us do the last problem in this exercise. One of B. Yf of x is given as x plus one divided by x minus one. Then he is asking to find the value of yf of yf of f of x. First, I am going to solve the inner mode function. Yf of f of as it is, yf of x is nothing but x plus one divided by x minus one. Now, this total x plus one by x minus one we need to substitute in the place of x. Yf of in the numerator we have x plus one, so in the place of x, x plus one by x minus one plus one as it is. Whole divided by in the denominator x minus one is there, so in the place of x, x plus one by x minus one minus one as usual. F of x plus one x into one x minus one into one minus one divided by x minus one whole divided by x plus one minus one into x minus x minus one into minus one plus one divided by x minus one. Let us check any cancellation or simplification is possible. Plus one minus one cancel plus x minus x cancel. Here x minus one here x minus one will get cancelled. Then we remains with y f of x plus x two x divided by one plus one two 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 cancel. Then we remains with y f of x. Y f of x value is given in the question itself. That is x plus one divided by x minus one. So the value of y f of y f of f of x is nothing but x plus one divided by x minus one. Again, in this seventh bit only, second question also there. That is find the value of y f of y f of f of one more f extra now f of f of f of x value we know very well just now only we did that is x plus 1 by x minus 1 so i am not going to simplify this further again just i am so going to substitute it because just now only i got the value so f of x plus 1 by x minus 1 so now in the given function in the place of x i am going to substitute this total now so we have x plus 1 by x minus 1 so in the place of x x plus 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 by x minus 1 minus 1 which is equals to x plus 1 plus x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole divided by x plus 1 
minus x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Here plus 1 minus 1 cancel, here plus x minus x cancel, x minus 1, x minus 1 will get cancel. Then we remain with here x plus x 2x divided by 1 plus 1 2, 2, 2 will get cancel, then the answer will be x. In the next video, I will explain some more examples and solved problems, then we will discuss exercise 1 of C. Till now, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, subscribe for more videos. Thank you.